Hey Yoga Vibes, this is Missy White. Today we're going to be practicing opening our hips and our hamstrings. We're going to get into those tight places and spaces that seem almost impossible sometimes to open up. So I hope you enjoy this class and I hope it relieves you of some tension. On that note, we're going to get started. So we'll start in a seated position today. Feet are hip distance and parallel and then I'm just going to have you go right onto your backs. When you arrive on your back, bring the soles of the feet together. The knees go wide and apart. Supta Baddha Konasana. So if this is terrorizing your inner groins, you can take your feet further away from you or straighten them out altogether. Those of you that need more, the heels will come in. Reaching the arms overhead, catching opposite elbows and closing our eyes. We'll start to breathe in and out through the nose only, cultivating Ujjayi breath. Your yogic breath. Slow it down. Smooth it out. And then try to stay present for the next 20 minutes. Sometimes when we get into poses and we hold them a little longer, our mind will wander off into the past or the future. So it takes away from what we're trying to achieve. So try to train yourself to stay present by focusing solely on that breath. If you'd like to set an intention for today's class you may do so now take a huge breath in and breathe that intention into your whole being hold it in there take in one more sip of air and then exhale please let it go ha through the mouth take one more big breath in holding at the top and a nice exhale out and then if the eyes are closed, blink them open. Take your hands to your knees, guide them towards one another. Pull your right knee in towards your chest. Interlace your 10 fingers two inches below your right kneecap. Start to pull your right knee outside of your rib cage towards your shoulder corner. And then start to extend the left leg straight, pressing the heel away from you, flexing the foot. It's a dorsi flex, so the toes are to the sky. Dropping both shoulders down. Gaze down the center line of the body as you pull that right leg in. Squeezing out your hip flexor, massaging your ascending colon is so good for you. The right foot is going to come on to the left thigh. Take your right arm out like a wing and just take an easy twist. The right knee goes left. You can look straight up or pick up your head and look right. Keep kicking that left heel away from you. Look towards the ceiling if you're looking right. Pull that right leg in. Extend it to the sky. Grab behind the thigh or the calf muscle. Point the toes. Pull the leg in. And then flex the foot. And then point it. And then flex it. Point it. Flex it. And slowly lower the right leg to the ground. Immediately bending the right knee. Picking up the left leg. Bending the knee. Interlace the ten fingers. Different hand on top. Two inches below the toes. You're going to pull your left knee outside of the rib cage And then down towards your shoulder. Power push that right leg away from you. Heel goes away. Toes are up. Sometimes we roll left. Can you roll a little bit more to the right? Pulling the right shoulder down. The shoulder should be even. And then gazing down the center line of the body. So the neck is nice and long as well. So you're realigning your spine, on this side massaging the descending colon of the large intestine. Super healthy thing to do every single day for yourself. From here, taking the left foot on the right thigh, the left arm comes out like a wing. And then slowly start to guide this left knee all the way over to the right. You may look up to the sky or pick up your head and look left. Plugging the left shoulder down as you twist. Should feel really good. Keep kicking the right heel away from you. The more power you put in the right leg, the deeper you'll get into the side. Looking to the ceiling, pulling the left leg in, straightening it out, interlacing the fingers behind the thigh bone, the calf muscle, or the heel. And then start to pull the left leg towards you. Point the toes, flex the foot, point. Flex, point, flex, and slowly lower that left leg down. 
Bend both your knees, stamp the feet onto the ground. Take the right ankle over the left knee, flexing the right foot so the knee is protected. Start to take the right knee away from you. And then pick up the left leg, interlacing the fingers behind that left thigh bone, or if you have more range of motion, two inches below the knee once again. You'll pull the left knee in as you send the right knee away from you. Shoulders are down, chin to chest. Back of the head is on the ground. So you'll feel this in the piriformis and the glute. Super good for those hips. From here, you're going to put the left foot on the left side of the mat. Let both knees drip over to the right. Slide the right foot to the middle of the left thigh and reach your arms overhead, palms are up. If you don't feel anything here or you want more sensation, the right foot can come into half lotus and the left foot can come into half of heroes. Make sure you have no tension in your, in your knee if you pick that option and then readjust arms overhead. So you're stretching out that top of the left thigh, the quad, the hip flexor area. Right foot comes off the left thigh, stamp it on the ground and then bring your left foot onto the ground. From here, left leg comes up, flex your left foot, toes back towards your face and then pick up the right leg. Take your hands through the little triangle, grab behind the thigh or two inches below the knee. And then start to pull your right leg towards you as you send the left knee away from you. Tailbone is heavy, shoulders are down, gaze is up. So you always want to dorsiflex this left foot to protect the knee. Only want to feel this in your hip. Just breathe into it. Some of you may start to go a little bit deeper. Just give yourself a little more pull, but keep your shoulders relaxed and down. From here, take your right foot over to the right side of the mat. Both knees are going to drip left. So let them just come towards the earth. If you need more, the left foot can come to the middle of the thigh. That's stage one. If you still want more sensation, take your left foot into half lotus and take your right foot into half heroes. Making sure you have no pain in the right knee. Arms are coming overhead no matter where you're working. Palms are facing up. If you need a little more, think about this front right hip coming up and a little bit over towards the left side. You'll feel more sensation. Breathe into the tight places that you feel. Exhale, see what you can let go of. And let this left foot come off the right thigh, stamp both feet onto the ground, pull your knees in towards you, give yourself a little squeeze, and then grab behind the thighs and rock up to a seat. Scooch up a little bit, bring the soles of the feet together for butterfly. If this is too much, you may come into Sukhasana. Inhale, reaching the arms overhead. On the exhale, take the right palm down, reach your left arm up and over to the right. Gaze can be up or down, let your neck be happy. Swim the left arm towards the top of your mat, followed by the right inhale, and on the exhale, we'll take a bow down. Walking the hands back in, inhale, we reach them overhead. Exhale, take the left palm over to the left, reach your right arm up and over to the left side as well. Turn your right pinky down, anchor through your right sit bone. Gazing up or down, remember, neck is always happy. Working the inner groins working the side body. Reaching the right arm forward, followed by the left, inhale, exhale, take a bow down. Walking the hands back in, stamping the feet onto the ground, hands behind the heels to lift yourself up into your first forward fold. From here, you can either stay here catching opposite elbows. Those of you that feel like you might need a little bit more, wrap your arms behind the legs and catch opposite elbows behind the calf muscles and slide them down as you start to straighten the legs, top of the head towards the feet. 
Remember, if that's too much, the elbows are in front, and you're just in ragdoll, and you can bend those knees as much as you need to. Shake your head out a little, yes, I'm happy to be doing yoga. A little, no, I'm not going to think about anything else right now. Just breathe. Releasing those elbows, chin to chest, navel to spine, slowly come all the way up. Let's toe heel the feet together. Inhale, the arms will reach overhead, the palms kiss. Exhale to swan dive forward. Inhale, grow the spine long, gaze is down. Exhale, we take the left leg back, and then we're going to turn over to the left side. Turn the toes in and the heels out. Straighten your arms, lift your heart. Exhale, take the right hand palm underneath your face. Inhale, reach your left arm up. You might stay here, or you may take the right hand palm to the left ankle, pull the elbow to the ground so you get a deeper stretch. Left arm keeps reaching up. Slowly release the left palm to the ground. Inhale, straighten the arms, lift the heart. On the exhale, we're going towards the back of the mat, framing up the left foot, lift the right heel. Inhale, let the hips drop low, pull the heart forward. On the exhale, drop your right knee down, shift back so your femur is perpendicular to the earth, and extend your left leg out, and then flex the toes up to the sky. Inhale. On the exhale, Ardha Hanuman, you might use blocks here, if you have blocks handy at home, or you can just stay on your fingertips. Some of you will be able to go deeper, dropping down to the forearms. You decide where you want to be. Keep the back toes tucked under in this pose. Takes a little more time to get into that belly of the hamstring. So just breathe into that space. Do not hyperextend. So you want to have a little micro bend in this left knee. Slowly send your arms straight, bend your left knee, bring your left hand inside of the left foot, toe heel the left foot to the left side of the mat. Lift your right knee off the ground and hug your left knee to your outer left deltoid. You may stay right here in your lizard lunge or come onto your right form and then your left form. If it's too much for you at any time, you may drop this right knee down, no worries. Do not dump into your shoulder blades, press into the mat and broaden the space between the shoulder blades. And then think crown of the head forward. If that back knee is up, the right heel goes back. Pressing the palms into the earth. Toe heel the left foot in between the hands, straighten your left leg, and we're going to turn once again sideways. Turn the toes in and the heels out. Inhale, straighten the arms, lift the heart. On the exhale, the left hand palm comes underneath the face. Inhale, we reach the right arm up. We take a twist. You may stay here, or you can take the left hand palm to the right ankle, arm straight, or elbow down to deepen. Finding the breath. Big inhale. On the exhale, plant both palms down. Inhale, straighten the arms. On the exhale, we're going to frame the right foot, lift the left heel up. Dropping the hips low, pull the heart high. Then from here, drop the left knee down, shift back so the femur is straight up and down, perpendicular to the earth. Extend your right leg out, right toes towards you. Inhale. Exhale to Ardha Hanuman, your half of a split. So you might be on your fingertips. You might be on your forearms here. Breathe into it. Remember, there's always a little bend in this right knee so you're not hyperextending and pulling in the back of the knee. That's not going to be good for your practice. Instead, think about drawing and hugging muscle to bone, engaging the quad to release the belly of the hamstring. Here.
here's where you want to be like, are we done yet? Are we done yet? No, we're not. Go back to that breath. Slowly coming up. Rebend the right knee. Toe heel your right foot all the way to the right side of the mat. Lift your left knee off of the ground. Hug your right knee to your outer right deltoid. Press back through the left heel as the crown of the head reaches forward. The left heel will press back in all position. You may stay here or drop to the forearms. Make sure you push into the forearms of the hands and broaden the space between the shoulder blades. Remember, the left knee can always come down if need be. Otherwise, keep it lifted. Crown of head forward, left heel pressing back. Keep all four corners of that right foot down as well and just breathe into this space. From here, plant the palms into the earth. Toe heel the right foot in between the hands. Rock back on the left foot and send it to the right foot. Inhale, flat back. Grow the spine flat and long. On the exhale, take a forward fold. Root down, rise up. Inhale, palms press. And exhale, we draw the hands to the heart center to Samasthi Dihi. Inhale, swim the arms up, look up. Exhale to swan dive forward. Inhale, grow your spine. On the exhale, you can plant your palms, step straight back to downward dog, or step the right foot and the left foot back to plank through chaturanga. Inhale to upward dog or cobra, and exhale to downward facing dog. Inhale the right leg high, exhale, bend that knee and open the hip. So you want to stack the right hip on top of the left, pull the left shoulder forward. The outer left hip will try to jet out. You want to draw it into the midline by engaging the left quadricep muscle. Maybe look over your left shoulder, see if you can find your toes, maybe comb your hair. <laughs> Straighten that right leg, inhale. On an exhale, look forward, stamp the right foot to the right thumb. Inhale, come on up to crescent. On the exhale, bring your hands to your hips. Bend your left knee almost to the ground and just hover. Without the hips popping up, power push the left leg straight. And then almost to the ground. And then power push it straight. And then almost to the ground. And then power push it straight. Inhale, the arms reach up. Exhale, frame the right foot. Inhale, step the left foot in, straighten the right leg to pyramid pose. Walk your fingertips beyond the right foot. Inhale. On the exhale, let's fold over the right leg. Inner and outer left heel, anchor you down. Try to find more space in the sidelines of the body. Always pressing through the big toe ball on the right foot and the inner right heel to avoid hyperextension. From here, let's walk the palms over to the right. Drop the head and relax. Feel the stretch for a moment. And then we're going to keep walking our hands, palms over towards the outside of the right foot and turn our feet to the other side of the mat. Peel the big toes up. Inhale, straighten your arms, lift your heart. Exhale, let's take a bow over this right leg. Breathing here. If you want more, push your big toes down. Inhale, stretch your arms straight. Exhale, let's come back to the front of the mat. Pivot that left heel down. Inhale, right into warrior two. Exhale, side angle pose, right forearm, right thigh, left arm reaches up and over. Take a big inhale. On the exhale, put the left hand down and the right palm down. Walk your hands away from you. Big inhale. Exhale, sink deeper. The sits bones can go wide and apart. That right knee is right over the ankle. Walk it back in. Frame up that right foot. Inhale, lift the right leg high. Exhale, put the right foot down. Inhale, the left leg high. Exhale, bend the knee and open the hip. You're in downward facing scorpion. Please draw that right shoulder forward as you stack the left hip on top of the right. 
Engage your right quadricep muscle. Inhale, the left leg goes straight. Exhale, look forward, stamp the left foot to the left thumb. The knee and ankle align, press back through the right heel. Inhale, up to crescent lunge. On the exhale, we bring the hands to the hips. Inhale, bend your right knee almost to the ground. And on the exhale, power push the leg straight, but don't let your hips bobble up and down. They're still stoic. Drop the right knee almost to the ground to hover, and then push it straight. Use your breath. Right knee, one more time, to a hover. And then push your right leg straight. Inhale, reach the arms up nice and high. On the exhale, we frame the left foot. Step the right foot in a little bit. Inhale, both legs are straight. Exhale, Parsvottanasana, pyramid pose, folding over that straight left leg. Try to reach the fingertips a little further forward. Arches of the feet are lifted. Hugging muscle to bone. On each inhale, you can always try to find a little more space as you draw the left sit bone back and then bow forward. Deepen. Let's walk our hands over to the left this time. Maybe slide the right fingertips beyond the left. Feel this stretch. Use the breath. And then from here, walk the hands even further and turn your toes to the other side of the mat. Inhale here. On the exhale, let's fold over that left leg. Feel the stretch. You can bend the knees as much as you need to here. If you need more, however, let's put the big toes down and fold deeper. Inhale, straightening the arms, lift the heart. Exhale, let's go ahead and frame that left foot. From here, pivot the right foot down. Inhale into warrior two. Exhale, left forearm, left thigh, side angle pose. Right arm reaches across the ear, way into infinity. And then sweeping the right palm down, followed by the left. Walk the fingertips away from you for lazy angle. The left knee will stay over the ankle. The head is completely relaxed. You're not dumping in this left leg. Instead, lift the right big toe up and all five toes, arch engaged, inner thigh engaged. Walking the hands back through center. Let's frame up the left foot, lift the right heel. Inhale, fly the left leg to the sky. Exhale, put that left foot down, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg goes high. On the exhale, bend your right knee, bring your right knee to your right wrist. The right foot will go left, smudge that left foot back. Look over that left shoulder, make sure the sit bone, the back of the knee and the heel are in one straight line. If not, adjust. If this is too much for you, this right heel comes in. If it's any pain in this knee at all, you wanna come back to thread the needle how we started class. If you need more, you're gonna take the right heel away from you. Spider up your fingers, lift your hips up, press back through the left heel, draw the tailbone to the earth, and sink back down. And then start to walk the fingertips halfway forward, take an inhale, pull your breastbone forward, and then exhale, drop to your forearms, pause again. Inhale, how much more of your rib cage can you get over this right um, calf muscle, and then drop in. Relax the head, maybe make a pillow with your hands to relax the head down. Then the left toes can go down with that kneecap up and encourage the left hip to come forward. A little in, a little down. So one page and you have to stay a little bit longer sometimes to open up what you need to. Try to be with that. Try not to fidget. Try to find peace in the posture. Walk the hands in, 
Take the right heel to your pubic bone, extend your left leg out. From here, you're gonna take your left elbow to the thigh or to the floor. Reach your right arm up, take the back of the hand back and then flip the palm down. And then start to take a side body stretch, right hand palm goes over towards the left foot. Don't let the right shoulder come down, instead rotate it back behind you. If you need more, the right palm will grab that left foot. The left arm will go straight. The gaze is up. Reaching out to come up, inhale. On the exhale, extend both legs out. The toes are up. Take one hand in front of you, one hand behind you, and you scoot your pubic bone up a little bit. From here, you're going to walk out, but without rounding the spine. I want you to think long spine, so maybe just come a little bit forward. Maybe come onto your forearms. Those of you that are super bendy are going to come all the way down, belly button, chest, and chin, and relax. So no matter where you're at, you want to think to pull out of the low body. So you want to pull the spine out of the pelvis and avoid rounding. Draw the shoulder blades together as you reach forward with your heart, the chest. Slowly come back up. From here, we're gonna face the back of the mat. You're gonna bend your left knee in, swim the right leg back behind you, coming in a pigeon on the other side. So the left heel might be really close into you or really far away from you, depending on your range of motion. Tuck your right toes underneath you so the heel is up. And then spider up your fingers, lift your hips up, press the right heel back, and then draw the tailbone down and sink back down. And then start to walk the hands out. Maybe you stay here. Grow the front line long. Inhale on the exhale, maybe coming to the forearms. That might not happen, that's okay. From here, still more. Inhale, how much of your rib cage can you pull off over your left shin? And then once you find that space on the exhale, drop in. Making a pillow with the hands, resting your forehead on that pillow. The right toes can go down, the kneecap will lift up. You wanna draw your outer right hip in. A little forward, a little down. Keep your breath. Try not to fidget. Remember, it takes a little longer to open the outer hip. That piriformis muscle can get nice and tight. Your glute, if you're a runner or a jumper, or you do any kind of activity, tennis, racquetball, all kinds of crazy weightlifting, it's gonna be very tight. Remember, you never want knee pain. So if you have knee pain, you come out and take thread the needle. We did that when we started class. Slowly rise up. Take the left heel in towards the pubic bone. Extend the right leg out. From here, the right elbow can rest on the right thigh or the floor. The palm is up. Reach your left arm up. Take the back of the hand back and flip the palm down. And then start to reach towards the right toes. So maybe you're just here. Try not to round the spine or drop this left shoulder down. Instead, rotate it back. So you're trying to spill the right rib cage under the left. And then if you still want more, the right arm will go straight and you can grab that right foot with the left palm. And sort of take a nap. Reaching out to come up, inhale. On the exhale, turn forward, both legs out in front of you for Paschimottanasana. So the legs are straight, the toes are back. Inhale, reach the arms high. On the exhale, you're gonna reach forward for the, either the shin bones, the ankle bones, or if you can grab the pinky toe sides of the feet, you wanna grab there. Grow the spine long no matter what you have a hold of and drop the shoulders down. And on the exhale, we bow forward over the, both of those legs.
On each and every inhale, if you'd like to create more space, you can think about the head going forward, long spine. So you never want to round chin to chest. That's not what you want to do. Instead, you want to think chin towards shin bones, pinky toes back. If you have more range of motion, the heels will even lift up. Slowly rise up, plant the hands by the hips, bend your knees, stamp the feet onto the ground, reaching those arms forward and slowly come all the way onto your backs. Arms and legs reach in opposition, big inhale, hold, exhale, arms down by your side, palms are up. Please lay here as long as you'd like. Take at least two to five minutes in Shavasana. It is the most important part of your practice. Thank you for practicing with me today. Namaste.